Hi, this is an example absolute value problem from the AMC, so let's see what we have. What is the product of all the roots of the equation shown? Okay, this looks pretty straightforward, but we have a few complications. We have absolute value signs around the x variable, and we have two sets of square root signs, so we'll have to be careful to keep the expressions underneath the square root signs from going negative. But other than that, it looks pretty straightforward, so let's see how we can proceed. Now we have just one set of absolute value signs around a x variable, so it looks like we'll have to consider at least two cases, and probably only two cases. So we'll have to consider the case where x is less than zero, and x is greater than zero. Now we have an additional complication in that we have the term x squared minus 16 underneath a square root sign, so we'll have to keep x squared minus 16 from going negative. So we have an additional constraint in that we'll actually have to keep x greater than 4 for this case and x less than minus 4 to prevent x squared minus 16 from going negative. So we'll actually solve this second case pair instead of the first case pair, but that's okay. Now once we've decided that we're solving x less than minus 4 and x greater than plus 4, We've actually simplified this equation a bit in that we've guaranteed that the expressions underneath the square root sign are always positive. And what that means is we can take the square of both sides of this equation to reduce it to an equivalent equation, just 5 absolute x plus 8 x squared minus 16. So we'll actually solve this equation going forward, and that simplifies things a bit. So for x less than minus 4, we can reduce the absolute x to just minus x, so this equation reduces to an equivalent equation, minus 5x plus 8 is equal to x squared minus 16. Bring everything to one side. Factor, as we usually can in the AMC. And this produces two roots, x equal 3 and x equals minus 8. Now x equal 3 does not satisfy the case restrictions for the left case, so this is not a valid root, but minus 8 is, so that is the one valid root for this left case. Now let's solve the right case. So for x greater than plus 4, we can reduce absolute x to just x, and this equation reduces to 5x plus 8 x squared minus 16. Bring everything to one side. Factor as before. And this again produces two roots, x equals minus 3 and x equals plus 8. Now minus 3 does not satisfy the case condition, so this is not a valid root, but this is. So in total we have two roots, plus 8, minus 8, the product of which is minus 64 for answer A. So that's it. So that's one of the more straightforward problems from the AMC. I hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.